what's breaking everybody brick book cow so today I want to talk a little bit about mini figs as y'all can see here I have my sig fig officially uh, regular uh, looks like a construction workers torso I mainly got it just because I had the hood a little bit of a a uh, little bit of like a utility jacket type of thing but uh, plain blue pants there is a hat that goes with it or a mullet switch out and you get a little what they proclaim to be poop at which I think of it as a cow patty um, because I am the cow so that's my little sig fig I call him mullet man um, so He'll be he'll be running around with everybody. There's the back end. He's got a little walkie-talkie there. But um, so there's Mullet Man. Uh, I wanted to get into a little bit a deeper dive here. Um, these are just a few of my ultimate favorite. Um, basically, my collection of mini figs that I don't necessarily always play with they're like set aside um top left you got trans blue batman and glow in the dark darth vader um those are both official lego um but they are definitely my rarest lego that i have um i cherish them a lot uh awesome figs um next over you have Kermy playing bajam the banjo bajambo the banjo for Bugs Bunny. Um, I thought that was a cute little scene. That's, that's kind of funny to me. Um, next one, you got the two <laughs> you got the two space guys meeting. You got the Toy Story alien and Marvin the Martian going, What? <laughs> you know, Scooby Doo, because why not? I love me Scooby-Doo. We got the Rockin' Batman and Bat-Zaro. Bat-Zaro is probably one of my more favorite Batman figs. I have a ton of Batman figs, different ones. But these two of all are probably my favorite. Well, and maybe this one too. I couldn't really fit him in. But um, I, I have a bunch of, bunch of them. Mm, it's really hard uh, some days to depict as to which ones are my ultimate favorite. But, moving on. Next one, of course, we have to have Chewbacca. And I have a little lime green little, uh, rock monster. Um, I was still quite a bit younger when Power Miners came out. Never was able to get it. But I do have a love for all these rock monsters. And I only got one. And that is my one. Next over, you'll see that I have a Series 23 Nutcracker. Um, I've actually collected quite a few of these. Um, I want a huge collection of them, uh, mainly just 12. Um, that way I can have my own little Nutcracker army and go on with it. But I do like Nutcrackers in general. Uh, the Christmas holiday season, uh, that's my favorite season to go around and check out all of the nutcrackers that uh, Kroger comes out with um the last one there bottom right is I don't believe it's official Lego um but that is my Grinch um I got it cause my daughter loves the Grinch and he is pretty cool I I got it off of whatnot. Uh, most of my figs I got off whatnot, but I don't exactly know if he is official Lego. Um, uh, so yeah, um, basically, yes, it is a little bit longer. I do apologize, but I want to show you all my little bit of a collection of special minifigs that I have. I also have this tote of minifigs. So I have some sealed minifigs and a whole tote of different minifigs. Majority of figs in here are spacemen, like my space police, race cars, we got we got the banana, 
We got fun characters, we got space, we got aliens, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we got little people, you got racers, you got all kinds of stuff in there. And that's mainly just for the layout. That's why I started collecting my minifigs. Um, and all, um, the fun ones, of course, you, you know, you, you want your, your layouts to be fun, so, definitely had to get me a few of them, uh, I got these really nice looking space guys, this guy here, he comes with a full on set and everything for his head, this guy doesn't, but he's the twin, cool looking figs, love it. But uh, that's all we got for today. Y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's. Um, Y'all stay breaking.